Hello and welcome gaming fans, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming, here to bring a stream today of some Titan Quest. We'll be running around Ragnarok. I tried to do the stream like a week ago, but having some internet issues and I ended up running around the wrong area, it was just not a good stream. So, we got rid of that one and decided to try to bring it back today. And here we are with my stone speaker. The stone speaker is... A new character class that was created for Ragnarok, in which you have a rune master that does some new abilities, and that's who I'll be using today. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more steady stream than I did when I tried to stream this last week. So right now we're in the city of Corinth, bring up my map my quest log real quick here. So I already ended up going to Atlantis by accident, which was the new quest line. So we are uh, trying to go somewhere else. We went back to Chapter 5, Act 5. Which is where we are now. In Corinth. And that's pretty much what we're starting on right now. All right. So the reason I got mixed up last time I was playing was I went into the starters portal and started doing the arena a few times. And then when it brought me out, it actually took me to Atlantis. I didn't realize that at the time. So then I was running around Atlantis doing stuff and I was like, why does this seem all foreign to me? I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. So. Now we're in the correct place, hopefully. In Act 5. And I have none of my powers on, so I probably should fix all that. So let's fix this. Let's do six, seven, eight. That'll give me all my uh, boosts on right now. My buffs. Then we're just going to kind of run around and have some fun. Kill some fishmen. Do you think they'd be getting a lot of rocks stuck in their tail and stuff? Dragging along the ground the way they do? I think we'd be uncomfortable. Oh, that was loud. Not crabs! They snip at my feet. Razor claws. And they have the old giant turtles they brought back in. From the early Ed chapters. These spit at you though. The ones in the first act just uh, snapping at your heels. Come on, Grab, you can't do nothing. Ha ha! Whoa, something dropped. Essence of the Iron Will of Ajax. Okay. Guess we'll grab that for later. Ooh, something blue. Soul Spike. Let's take a look at that real quick. It 
is a weapon I can't use. It is a spear, looks like. I need more decks. It's actually not terrible. It's a little slower than what I'm using now. It's got better life leech. Might be worth trying later, especially if I get some of the set pieces. So we'll throw that in the bag for now. We need uh, 242 decks. Actually, we're almost there. Now I'm there. Although I think the sword's giving me some decks right now. Plus a bunch of fire damage. It's probably not going to end up doing more damage overall. Let's check. Let's see. We're doing 469 average damage. If we put it on... Oh, of course, immediately goes red. I forgot about that. Uh, all right. Now it's on. 501 versus 470. So it does do a little bit more damage. Let's try it out. Let's see how it works. Yeah, it definitely does attack slower. But overall, it doesn't seem like it's a problem if it's slower. I think I'm getting more health out of it on attack, so we'll try it out for now. I don't mind. Rebirth Fountain. Well, that's always a good sign. Generally, when you find a Rebirth Fountain, at least you're on the right path. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and clear some more enemies. It actually doesn't feel like I'm quite getting back as much health as the other weapon. Because of slower attack speed, I was wrong, I think. Let's switch back and just see. I'm not sure. Try it again here. On the big attacks, it definitely gives a lot of health back, but yeah, overall, it doesn't quite give me as much of a bonus, I think, as my sword does. Because of the slower attack speed, it does give you a little bit more back, but because it's attacking slower overall, that's, I think, the quest I'm supposed to go. Let's go back in here real quick and see if I missed any guys or chests. I want to be some loot! More loot! Youch. That was not necessarily fault of the weapon. That could have just been because there were a bunch of guys there that hurt me. So we'll try it out a little bit longer. Well, I think that might be it. Might be all she wrote. Nope. Not yet. Of course, forgot to put on the weapon. Oh, a bunch of guys again. So it did okay there. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll probably balance out in the end in terms of damage. And lifesteal and everything. thing for right now, I'm going to switch back to my sword. I like the faster attack speed. But this one, if we combine it with some of the other equipment that we can possibly find around here, may end up being more useful in the end if we can find some other set pieces to go with it. So we'll leave it there for now. 
Oh, hold on, dude. Holy mackerel. Bunch of guys here. I just made a big circle. Of course. All right. To the docks. I think that's our next destination. This harbor will be very inconvenient the way it's attached to the city. I mean, why make me walk all the way around? Why not just open up the stupid doors here? And then the music all of a sudden gets loud. What the heck? What? Okay, that's weird. Oh, it's happening again. Look at archers down there. Alright, fine, let's talk to you. Oh no! Not the monster! Let's go find it! Crap. Oh, there's a little bit of a poisoner there. Oh, wait, what the hell? How the hell did that happen? I just like fell down into the water somehow. I'm not sure I can get out. Son of a. Ugh, I'm gonna have town portal out of here. Well, we totally just fell through an area we weren't supposed to go into and got stuck. Ugh. Annoyance. Well, I guess the good part is at least all the enemies along the way should be dead, so. Just need to be careful walking on the docks there. Who would have known you'd fall through the world? Well, not the whole world, I guess. Just part of it. Apparently I'm taking some of the long ways around, but that's okay! Oh, we missed the majestic chest. Any good stuff in it? No. Oh, just so anybody watching or seeing this after the fact, uh, I do have the loot turned off. So I don't see all the loot on the ground, but primarily that's for me being lazy. So if I switch here, you can see there is 
Lots of loot on the ground, but I have it turned off to where I only see uh, anything above yellow for right now. So I don't even see yellow. That's primarily just to save time for traveling back and forth. I mean, I don't really need the money necessarily or anything I'm at. What am I at now? Four, almost five million gold. It was just extra stuff that I didn't feel like having on. Having to travel back and forth to town a lot. So this way I just find the green pieces, or the set pieces, and a few of the other items that way. <gasps> oh, excuse me. So anyway. I can get in the water. It's not over there, it was deep over there. Oh, he's running away again. We almost got him. Oh, where'd you come from? Dead. Ha ha! Suck it, monster. A bunch of gold. Yeah, the reason why I'm not really doing yellows right now, I mean, I guess I could look through them. They're actually starting to get stronger than what I had. But I mean, look at this. So, we, these are both level 18 items. They're just kind of ridiculous. The one on the right, you would think would be a lot more powerful, but... It's not that much more powerful. You know, just looking at the two. That's why part of me just doesn't worry about stuff right now. I could be short a little bit of armor, but that's generally making up for, for other reasons, like the set pieces I have on or other stuff. It just doesn't make sense to pick up and have to do all this stuff over and over again. Now, the, the rings actually would sell fairly well, generally. So, like, this medallion will probably sell pretty well. But, most of the other stuff just isn't worthwhile even bothering to loot. So, save time. Unless you're really into the whole running back and forth to town a hundred times. And I've done that a lot. That's the other reason why I've decided to skip it. That's part of the reason why I have 5 million gold right now. Or almost 5 million gold. Alright, well we finished that quest, but I don't know where to turn it in. I would guess back in town somewhere. Yeah, back in Corinth. So we'll just save some time. Transfer back to Corinth. So our first quest, first quest was to go down to the docks, save that monster. Now most likely another part of the city will open to us, so we can go somewhere else now. So the door will open. I just gotta figure out where the guy is. Uh, here's somebody. Probably the these guys. Brought a sea monster? Astonishing! In the name of the city of Corinth, we thank you, hero. You're Some welcome. Details about you are not exaggerated. Though it troubles me that they would attack us now, when all that madness should be over. If the gods really have abandoned us, it seems we humans are not the only ones to be left to our own devices. 
We can only guess at what is happening in Poseidon's former realm. Hopefully, this simply means that, in a time of political upheaval, some of them turned to opportunistic looting just like humans. Then, they were nothing but dirty pirates after all. Uh, okay. It is easy for him to talk about the destroyed harbor. Ariston isn't interested in ships, except when he goes on pleasure cruises. But I could do without yet another obstacle to consume my trade revenues, as if those... Okay. Let's see, did something open over here now? Oh, here's a quest. It must be you. At last I have found you. You are the hero who hunted and slew the Telkinish, the Titan, and now the Ketos. Hmm. I thought you would be taller. Don't they always think heroes are going to be taller? I am Ilva, daughter of Jilfai, king of Scandia, in the realms of Nord. My men and I have been searching all over Greece to find you and seek your help. It seems many things have changed since the Titan fell, and the lord of your underworld is not the only one who is unhappy with the emergent rule of the humans. Frankly, we don't even know why they're doing it. Maybe they fear us now. What doing do it? There's a typo the right there. Here, whom we had always worshipped are now attacking us. My father's kingdom is in chaos. And our people are overwhelmed and desperate, while I am here, your troops are ravaging the countryside. We cannot stand against them alone. Please, Titan Slayer, fight with All right, this was where we actually go to, the Ragnarok area. Me at the Celtic stronghold of Glauberg. We can Glauberg! From there. Okay, how do I get there? Untie the strands of fate. Yeah, I'm okay. It is decided. Is it this way? The rich citizens and generals may be Nope. Not that person. Oh, is it out here? Aha, it must be out here because this place I couldn't get out to before. Whoa. He's standing on my head! Oh, bandits. That's unusual. Actually fighting human or well, humans for a change. Normally, every time I go outside into a new area, it's always monsters of some sort to fight. Here's centaurs here. You know, orcs are things to fight. Goblins, I don't know. Not goblins. Not Titan Quest. But really not humans. Oh, nice bandit armor. We'll look at that in a second, because we're kind of busy. I'm down a buff. Gotta fix my time buff. What do we get? Two? I must have got two greens. I didn't know I got two greens. A lot, a lot of armor on it. That one's going to be hard to give up because of my Babylonian set pieces right now. I'd lose something. I don't know exactly what i lose, but i lose something for sure. Well, I have an armor, a shield, and boots? Yeah. And right now, that gives me three set pieces. 33 decks, 82 health, and 10 movements. So if I took one off just to see... That will leave us with uh, elemental resistance and movement speed, and that's it. Yeah, it's going to be hard to take that off right now. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a bunch of armor, but...
Armor's not everything. I mean, it's a lot. It does help. Because it gives you resistances and stuff. But I think I'm okay right now. Those will be for selling later. Got so much crap on me. I heard something. Yeah, you did. Me stabbing you in the back. Ringleader. No, you didn't. You might have hit me, but you don't got me. So I'm used to fighting birds outside of cities like this. That makes sense. Like birds and boars are some of the first creatures you fight when you leave the first city. And what the satyrs, I think. Aren't those in the first city? I'm trying to remember. Rawr. What? Just Rawr. Oh, he's an actor. What the hell? I sing now, O oh muse, of the tragedy of Pyramus and Thisbe. Love as they were in distant Babylon. Yeah, it's gonna take too long. I'm good, thanks. Okay, I find it weird that like bandits right here on the road, yet there's actors right there and not robbing them. They must really like actors. Hey, stop shooting stuff at me. Oh, put yourself on a rock, will you? Yeah, do you like that? George! Alright, we got a couple different entrances to things over here. Oh, we got harpies now. Because we got a fetid lair and a cave entrance. Let's go. See if we can track down the fetid lair. I don't know if it's even in this area. Actually, it doesn't look like it is. I couldn't see anything under the trees. Actually, wait, is that the way I came into Corinth? Thought I might be going the wrong way. I don't know. This way definitely wasn't explored yet, though. All right, looks like I started down here. Came all the way up through here. Fought through a bunch of guys to get to Corinth, I guess. Shit, I have no idea. But that also looks like we've been up here already. I really have no idea. It's weird. Oops. Well, I guess we'll just go out and see where it leads us. I don't know, was the map already open by default? I don't remember. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Stop 
throw your little axes at me. All right, I guess cave it is. Definitely haven't been in here. What the hell are these rats? Oh, there are the rats. Rats with some sort of yellow fungus growing on them. I don't know. They're like poisoned rats. Big rat man! It's the rat man! Oh, gold. Gold! Alright, let's get some more rats here. Rats are going down. Alright, so according to this now, it says I've never been in this area. Let's look at the map once there are no more things around me killing me. Alright. Okay, so there is a new spot here. So I guess it just created a new area in this city and we headed up through it to hopefully go someplace new. So we'll skip those other areas and go up through this way. Charge! Centaurs! Okay, so it went from bandits to centaurs. Oh, they threw down a flag. The crap, I'm demolished. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? I think they threw a netting trap or something down. I couldn't move. Yep, it was definitely knitting. I just saw it on me. Alright, fine then. You know what? We can switch to using ranged weapons. How about we do that? And off of you guys. Alright. What do we got in here now? We got some soul stealers. Life eaters. Alright, that's all that one side. Let's go up and see what we got in this other cavern. No more life stealers. It's a weird little dead end up here. Huh. You thought it would lead to something else. Just kind of a tiny little cavern. So small. So small. Finally, level to 40. It took forever. Get back here, you. Oh, that's not fair, all those guys up top fighting us? Really? Oh crap, oh, they are wrecking me too.
I don't even know if we reached up there or not. It's these guys I can see so I can hit. Oh, yeah, there we go. I said I didn't want to make a lie out of myself. So I can hit them. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I thought I saw a guy running back this way. I don't see where he went. Oh. Istimus Harpy, a siren. What a lovely voice you have as I rip it out of your throat. All right. Rebirth Fountain, good. That at least means we're on the right path. Ugh, so many archers. Oh, delay. Oh, it sounds like he's yelling. Oh, delay. Maybe it was on the way? I don't know. Alright, got a second to breathe here. We got a murderous Akanakis. It's an Akanakis. All right, so it's uh, more base damage than my current weapon. Of course, I have a lot of buffs on my current weapon, so still not going to be great for what I got. So I think we'll that'll be another one we'll throw out later. So maybe we'll store some of that stuff over here. So we can throw it out later. I don't think I want this either, the trident of fire. So those items right over here are going to be tossed out later. First, I missed an area over here, I think. I missed a chest. And an archer who's shooting at my head. See? Still sound like old delay. Come on, boys! Let's show this guy a good time. I heard something. You heard me attacking you in their head. So many archers! Yeah, it's the only major problem with my build in this game is archers. I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have any range resistance really. And so lots of archers take me down very, very quickly. I do pretty well against melee groups unless they're really, really big or they got like a one special guy and a bunch of little guys with them. Oh, delay! Fresh meat. How fresh is it? Oh, yeah, these guys I can hit. Oh, really? I missed. Missed with a special attack. 
Didn't miss that time. Aha! What's the other glowy weapons? Oh, he's a bandit. Oh, crap. He's a boss. Shit, he is tearing me up, too. What the hell? You're like way up in front, now you're running away. Oh, now you're back, what the hell? Oh, Nass. Oh, I sometimes love cutting these bosses around. Oh, except when they kill me. Crap, I just saw that coming. Crap! I gotta go up. This way. Oh, gotta put all my buffs on. Where some of these supporting guys, too, they weren't helping when well, they were attacking me, at least. I want to pull all you guys down here into a fight. Got him! Something green dropped. So we got some physical damage, some life leech, vitality damage, attack damage converted to health, offensive ability, attack speed. So this one's similar to the one I'm wearing now, although the Sabertooth has more bonuses on it, and it's faster. So it's, it's one I would definitely consider if I didn't have everything else on there. But I think for right now it's going to be a sell as well. We'll put it into the stash for later. I was hoping for something good in there, but oh well. Nothing exciting. Alright, we killed the quest guy. I wonder if we're supposed to head back to Corinth to turn that in.
Maybe we'll turn magic back on. Getting some of these items to sell may not be a bad idea. Probably could use the money for respecking. I think I need respect anyway. Things aren't quite, uh... Don't feel like they're quite where they need to be. I'm definitely having problems fighting these bosses. They just do so much damage on either. I don't have enough defense against them or something. Yeah, I don't know if it's back to Corinth now. Oh yeah, I was. That was a side quest, Siron. Okay. So this wasn't the right way to go at all. Sweet. Well, I guess it's uh, back to Corinth. Since that was apparently just a side quest. I think the main quest said east towards crockery or whatever it's called. We'll do that in a few minutes. Let's go turn this in first. Skyron is dead? Finally! And they even had centaurs! That is, I mean, I never doubted you. I expect the rest of the vermin will scatter without a leader. With... Come, friend. Alright, what do we get? We got the scroll of the Svefthorn. That's new. Makes all enemies in the area tired and confused. Wow. Maybe I'll keep the sword for now. It's not terrible if I equip it with a nice relic. Might do well. Let's go to that. And I guess this one for now, too. Oh. I meant to go over here. It's worth a lot. And maybe we'll keep some for now. Until we run out of room. Then we'll see. Thought they'd be worth more, actually. Is that all? Okay, so. Ooh, we leveled. Probably should take care of that. So I'm maxed out here on Rune Mastery, which is fine. A barrier of lesser rune stones to block and distract enemies. That could be useful. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what other skills in there I haven't really tried yet, because there are a couple in here I just didn't use. Mainly just because I like some of the other abilities, so I was really building those up, like my uh, left attack rune weapon I put all the way up as far as I could. And so it gives me some extra damage here, some energy leech. And weapon base damage becomes elemental. That's not a bad thing necessarily. Then I got a Sacred Rage, which when your health drops below 40%, you get some bonuses. 
which I think is good, but I might need to add more points than that. Then we also had Frightening Power. What was that? Uh... Oh, Entering Rage. When you enter Rage, you get the Scream that uh, reduces enemy's health, reduction of damage, things like that. This was... Oh, this was dual wielding. That's right. I could try dual wielding, dual wielding again. I forgot about that. That I have bonuses to get a lot more damage. The shield, though, gives me a bonus, I believe, right now, because it was the Babylonian shield. I think that's why I put it on, so... I think we'll skip that for now. What's this one? 25 second recharge. 40 energy cost. 5 meter radius, 80 damage absorption, 50 stun resistance. So this would give me a shield that would protect me for a few seconds, but... I mean, 80 dam damage absorption kind of sucks. Because, I mean, for example, I have 2,091 health. I'm getting dropped pretty quick. I'd have to level that thing up pretty high if it doesn't jump up at all to get any real bonus out of it. I mean, the only nice thing, I guess, is it, it spreads to all your allies close by. Be good in a group. Solo? I don't know. I'd have to be think, think about that one. So I'd be more likely to get this one. Only because it uh, enchants a shield or staff with the ability to absorb the energy of enemy blows and spells, adding it to your own. If that's passive. Hmm. So I think about Runestorm just to see what it does, because I haven't tried that one yet. It's a lot of energy, but... I just don't know how well it works. I'm also thinking about the men here wall, so maybe what I'll do is... Seal of Fate, what was this one? Draw, take a moment to draw an inc intricate spell on the ground. So I think I tried this one before and I didn't like it. Because you draw it on the ground, it took it takes three seconds, I think, and then it explodes. So I think it was fine if things didn't move. But I feel like if things moved, it was a problem. Although if I combine that with the Aftershock, maybe it would be better. I didn't have it at the time. I also have not tried the Guardian Stones. Oh, that sounds interesting, too. <laughs> Guardian Stones. You know what, let's... I've not tried this, the Wall and Stones yet, so let's try that for fun, and we'll go ahead and throw in a point of the Rune Storm. Just because we need to try out some new abilities. We need to start doing more stuff. So let's put Rune Storm there. And then we'll put the Wall... And the Guardian Zone's there. So now I have one through four. At least now I have a few more abilities to try. Which I think will be helpful because I'm just a little bit still on the weaker side, I feel like. Wait, that also get a scroll of Cyclops? Or is that must be I get one of the one or the other, I guess. I don't know. I only got one scroll that I remember seeing. Alright, so it wants me to go east to... So I need to go east. Okay. But East Bridge was out, where the actors were. So... That means I have to go up and around. Okay. I think we got this. At least everything's dead. Right, let's turn back off the uh, yellow. Don't think we're going to need it right at the moment. Okay, so that's the way I don't want to go this time. Wait, how do I get there? Is it th maybe there's a different way out of the city.
I think that's why I was confused. Because I did not see another way to get through here. Because you would think it would be here. But of course the bridge is out. Okay, I bet there's another way out of the city. Let's go check. <clears throat> I think coming out through here only leads to the... Uh, Uh, bandit captain we had to kill. So let's go and see if there's another path kind of down here. Look like there might be another door that opened down here. Uh, at least I'm hoping there is, because if not, I'm not sure where to go. Well, crap, there's nothing down here. Traveler to the Shrine of Demeter. Thank you again. Oh, okay. We marched down from Thessaly when we heard it. Okay, it's got to be out here somewhere. I must just have missed the path to go. Not through here, is it? Nope. It looked like a little path. It's got to be out here somewhere. Alright, so let's do this. Let's hit the Rebirth Fountain again here. Tragedy of Pyramus and Thisbe, love as they were in distant. Rawr. I feel like that guy. Rawr. So stupid. Oh, I missed you guys. That was all I missed, apparently. Alright, so maybe going through the cave was the correct way to go. And maybe I just missed the path through there? Because I don't see any other path up through anything. Alright, so let's go back through the cave. It must be through here. I must just have missed a different path out of here somewhere. So let's go through this area and make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh wait, maybe over here? Is that a path that way? I cannot tell. I might be from Vandekamp. I may have just... Uh, Missed the path from the bandit camp. I think that's what's confusing me. You see all those other areas already open on the map, so you assume it's that way you have to go, but... Yeah, I may have just been wrong. It may not have been that way at all. Awesome. Ah, what's well, a little walk, right? We're fine. So then I think that would mean it would be east from here. Okay, well this is a good sign. There's some enemies over here I haven't fought yet. So at least that means I haven't been this way yet. Okay, these are also good signs. Generally those... Uh, I don't know what you would call them in this game. Oh, crap. 
How are they stunning me? You're fine, take that. Crap. Still stun me. They drain my mana too. So when you combine a couple of those harpies together, they're annoying. Alright. Um, I guess you would call these, like, they're not really urns. Or bonfires, because they're on pedestals. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, exactly what you call those. But anyway, hearths, I don't know. Those generally light up if you're on the right path. So like I said, at least that's a good sign. It feels like we're going the right direction now. I just missed the turn from the bandit leader. That's all. We got some pristine plumage. Huh. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. Well, those stones, I would like them more already. Not sure about the other ones quite yet. Yeah, not really sure about... Oh, what the hell? Is that the stones going away? Yeah, okay. It was just a weird noise I hadn't heard before. So like, what the hell is that? Um, so these stones. Maybe I just need to level them up a little bit more. Damn, I'm getting stunned. Or trapped again. It might be trapping me. Yeah, I don't know, not really sold on the stones or that elemental thing. I'm not sure I like it. I don't know, maybe leveling it up would be better. Just doesn't seem that powerful. For the time it takes to recharge everything. I mean, the Guardian Stones were neat, but... Same problem, it's a huge, huge respawn timer. No, you won't. Split you open. Essence of the Light of Belenus. With these expansions, they added so much new content. Just the amount of uh, new drops you can get for the relics and things. Not relics. That's not what they're called. The monster... Crap. Charms? Monster charms and... It is relics. Okay. Relic shards. I was right. I thought I was wrong for a second, but I was right. I was thinking for a second the... Artifact slot. 
was also called a relic, but it's not. They made like a railroad almost. Give me the health potion, yeah. The Colossus has collapsed, smashing a kraken. Ha <laughs> ha! At least he was good for something there. <laughs> At least, right? Yeah. So that's a boat, like railway. Must lead to the water. Let's follow it. I guess the elemental thing is not horrible. At least it feels like if you do a little bit of damage, or if you can get in there and get into a group, it'd be alright. Because it does an effect every second while it's up. Randomized, so it could be good. Still not a hundred percent sold on the stones. They seem to attack really slowly. And their recharge time of 120 seconds or whatever it is makes them a little bit useless in that respect. Now if they didn't stand still, if they like followed around me or they sw swirled around me or something, I think it would be better. It just feels like the current machination of them doesn't work as well as it could, if that makes sense. What do we got here? Uh, health regen's not terrible, but... Definitely still could use more armor in the game. That's still a weakness right now that we gotta solve. I just don't know if I want it to be this. I mean, I don't get poisoned all that often, so I'm not too worried about that. But extra physical damage and the intelligence and energy definitely helps. Well, you know what? Let's try this out just to see. Interesting, our damage actually didn't go down at all. And our armor did go up to 379. Our mana dropped by like 50 almost. Well, let's try it out for a little while. Oops. Did I mean to hit that? And all we can do is see what happens. That's all we can do. A Sea Lord! I wonder if you know Spongebob. Yeah, actually, I think I did like the elemental thing. It was kind of making them run away a little bit, and they didn't attack me as much, so that would be awesome for group attacks. And I do have problems with large groups, so I think... That will be really useful. The only thing I can think of for the stones right now 
again, a big group wouldn't be terrible to have if the number four is up. Number three, it does make them walk around. It could be good against, like, archers because they have to re-maneuver to get around me or around there. Like right there, for example, I can kind of block those guys in. But then I can walk through them. But I guess the enemies can't. So that's good, right? We might just have to see them at another level, leveled up some more, and see what we get that way. Sometimes you got to get things a little more powerful, you know, up to your level before you can tell. Because I could also drop some of the Earth skills that I have. I was primarily doing the Earth skills to get some of the automatic bonus bonuses from things. So, like, the Earth enchantment's nice, because it does extra fire damage and burn damage. Uh, then I get like brimstone, which does more damage, and then stone skin actually gave me armor, which was nice. And then I skipped the heat shield. That would give me a heat shield that absorbs damage and some burn retaliation, although that might not be bad to get next time. Stone form gave us, yeah, previous rock. I had the core dweller, but he was dying so fast. I, I had to level it up higher, but. He was just dying so fast it didn't seem worth it. My original plan with the Rune Master was I was going to do runes plus earth and have a golem that I could summon to have him take damage for me. So I could like run around and attack other people. But he was just dying so fast it just didn't really seem worthwhile. Maybe if I can get earth leveled up to where I can get the metamorphosis might help because then he gets extra health and armor protection absorption. Maybe that would be better, but in the first couple forms here, it just he was dying so quick it was useless. So, flame surge I could also start investing in, I guess. Again, it'd be better if I got up to at least twenty four. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about what we can do next. But like I said, originally I was going Core, Do Core Dweller. It just didn't really work, so at least I want to get some bonuses. So like the Ring of Flame at least gave me a fire damage within 1.5 meter radius of me. And then a Softened Metal was for reducing the offensive ability of the enemy. So that wasn't, that's not too bad of a buff to have on. And I still like the sword. Getting extra damage with the sword was nice. And that was just a buff I put on, so that was handy. But like I said, I was really concentrating in Rune Master, just trying to figure out what I liked in here. So I'll probably continue doing that for now, but maybe I'll respect once we get a little higher in levels. Once I figure out like what abilities I really, really like. But until then, we'll kind of keep going with whatever I got now. A little bit of a hodgepodge of stuff, as it were. Alright, there's the harbor person. Let me make sure there's nothing else in this town I have to interact with or talk to. And then we'll head out on the ship and see where it takes us. Which I think I may be done. Yeah, I didn't see anywhere else to go, so... Hey, thanks for giving us a hand. Of course, of course! It's what we do! As a hero. Yes, stranger. And we are heading north to the Celtic All right, lands. let's go to the Celtic lands. This will finally start more or less the Ragnarok saga. I mean, I, we're already in it, I guess, but it didn't feel like we were in Ragnarok. Right. We're still in Greece. Did you have a safe trip? But what is this? Trolls, huh? All right, rebirth fountain.
That river is very white on the map. All right, well, it looks like they got us to a town fairly quickly this time. Some of these levels, you're like, land in a weird place and have to go far away to get to a town. Schuneberg! What is your business here? Are you here to help in the mine? Just passing through, eh? Something tells me you're up to more than that. Sure, why not? Oops, clicked the wrong button. All right. All right, where are we going now? Greetings, stranger. Talk to Bilg. If you're looking for our chieftain, his house is the big one up behind the marketplace. Oh, to find the marketplace. Oh, we talk to that guy. Must have missed the path. I did. Ah, oh, good thing too. It's quest. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. What? Hey, have you seen my wife oh. Kaya mean anywhere? That useless wench has been going all day. Wow. Something about food. I can't remember. But now I'm famished and she still isn't here. Wow. He is kind of a dick. Very useless wench of a wife is having fun somewhere else away from you, which everybody should. Like, damn. Need anything taken over the Alps? Oh, so full of crap. I still gotta clean it up. I didn't clean it up in between streams like I said I was gonna do. Greetings, stranger. That's okay. I'm looking after these goods until my master, the great druid Artibuts, returns from the forest. Can I interest you in something? I think I'm good. Anything in here useful? Oh, there's Cyclops. Calls upon a mighty Cyclops to do the caster's bidding. Due to the iron will of the Cyclops, however, mastery of this fearsome being can only be held for a short time. <laughs> he only stays alive for 25 seconds? Wow. Seems really short. Didn't see much in the magic place. I see you have come a long way from the south. Are you looking for a proper fight? Or some proper leggings? <laughs> well, I think slow. A cleaver of lightning. Nah. I don't see too much there. Damage is getting nice, though. All these weapons are better than, like, the saber tooth I have. So definitely, Good if we can get a nice... Soul. New nice weapon, I'll probably equip it. The river is lovely at this time of year, is No, no. I am an enchanter. I forgot what I got on right now. Oh, life leech, vitality damage. Energy leech, okay. Why didn't you just say so? Welcome, warrior. I am Borderix. Borderix. I have the I chief to know the Vindalidi. Lichi. I've heard like the old of strange attacks up in the north. We have our own problems here. While the trade is good, those northmen are our enemies as much as they are our friends. <sighs> Who knows why their strange gods would turn against them? Maybe they deserve their anger. Huh. They go up to the north, to the west. Investigate, of course. 
Although the way... Yes, foreigner. I am. I'm gonna get out of this place then. I guess I go this way. I guess it's that way. Something else probably open now that we talked to the chieftain. Like this way. I am Gore, Maybe. the owner of the Lemberg mine. If you want salt. You come to me. Yes, the road to Glauberg is also that way, but I'm not a travel guide. If you're going there, however, I may have a little business proposal for a capable and trusty warrior like yourself. He wants me to go into the mine and kill something. Got it. <sighs> white gold? Are those diamonds? I don't know what white gold is. Considered to be. Ah, there we go. South out. I used to go in that direction out of town. Got some slightly different looking rebirth fountains. They kind of look like the original ones a little bit. A trader from the north sold me this order. Oh, what the... a boar. Looks like we're back to fighting boar. And now we have robbers. And it's hard to see out here. So dark. And I don't understand why three robbers just there. They must have been plotting something. I'll get you and your little boar, too. Okay, this is weird, going through this farmland area. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Just kind of haphazardly trotting through these woods with. Let's see. I mean, here's the problem: I have like farmers over here farming, and you have trolls over here that are just standing there. They're attacking me, but leaving all the farmland alone. Same thing with these robbers up on the hill and stuff. It's just, it's weird. Nice. These robbers have rogue druids. I 
At least they're kind of keeping up with like a Celtic Norse kind of theme. A bunch of new enemy types. And then a bunch of old ones too. Furry boars! There's a freaking moose down there. What the hell? A troll crusher. Nice. Holy crap, yeah, he's crushing me. See, like, that was actually a good placement for the um, elemental thing. Bunch of guys... They'd be kind of like running around. They weren't attacking me straight up. They were kind of getting disrupted a little bit. That was a good use of that ability. So I definitely definitely do like that ability. I should have probably tried the stones too, but I was trying to save them. Because they have such a long cooldown time. I'd love to see some new artifacts. But I haven't gotten any recipes lately. Swabian Jura. Oh, well, that's a name. What in the world? Oh wow, it's already right there. Is this the mine? No, nah, it doesn't really feel like it's the mine. It's a natural cave. Essence of Wodan's wisdom, huh? Oh, that's a weird one. It reduces health to give you extra experience. Although, honestly, it was minus 20 health? I mean, out of 2,091, as long as it doesn't, like... You know, it's not 20 per level or anything. Losing 20 health for extra experience wouldn't be terrible. Although, it's only 2% experience, too. So it's not like you get a lot out of it. Maybe a full charm would give you more? I don't know. Alright, so it looks like the two roads just kind of went along the same path and connected, so... I think I got most everything up in that last area. I don't feel like I need to backtrack any. Hopefully. I didn't miss anything.
Are we got another cave or something coming up. Oh. Is this a friendly campsite? That's weird. Our work has always been oh, is this the mine? Oh! I think I found a mine. Never seen anything like this. Well, let's the go see what we gold. got. Some kind of horrible oh, that's why it's white gold. It's salt. As if got it. No longer control the spirits of the day. Now that makes sense. Salt mines. I missed the whole calling it white gold earlier. I was thinking, what are they? Diamonds? Are they? Uh, what are they? White. But it's salt. Let's see what's in here. Into the mines. Where do you guys all come from? So far, it's just some salt corpses. And returned, guys. Somebody's raising the dead. Maybe we got a necromancer down here or something. I don't know. They're kind of like zombies. Some sort of Celtic magic to return things from the dead? Maybe a druid could do it. I don't know. I don't have a druidic spellbook in front of me, so I don't know if they have raised dead spells. Essence of the Stew of Eldrimnir. Huh. I missed what that one did. The Stew of Eldrimnir. Strength and energy regeneration. Huh. Torso armor only. Yeah, they definitely remind me of, like, the slow-moving zombies. Or the skeletons, kind of, of the first areas of the game. Not too dangerous by themselves, but just enough to be annoying. Ooh, what is that? A helmet. A garland. Yeah, I think I like the other one better. That one we can sell off later, I think. Oh. I think we just made a circle back to the entrance. Let's go up here. Salt corpse. Well, now we know why they're so well preserved. They're salty. Wasn't paying attention. That one came up behind me, surprised me, almost killed me. But we survived! Oh crap, bunch of guys. Alright, fine. Power up. Elemental. whatever. Elemental destruction! What is it called? I totally forgot the name. Rune Storm! That's what I meant. Rune Storm! The double mint twins just went down. Okay. <sighs> mm. 
looks like we're just going one way now. Looks like we've explored all the other possible pathways. That is what I like to do in these action RPGs if possible. It is a little bit easier here though because it's not random dungeons like Diablo for most of their maps. These are pretty much static maps. They never change. Location of enemies change, obviously. But the maps themselves are kind of hard-coded in the game. Except for the arena. The arena of Tartarus was an exception. That was randomly generated. But most of the campaign maps are all, all the same. But that's okay. It doesn't mean the game is any less fun. Wait, can I... Why can I highlight... Oh, no? That was weird. I wonder where the ladder would take us. Would that take us back to the beginning or a different area? You know what? I think... There's a boss down here, so that's probably a shortcut to go back up versus having to walk all the way back up. Oh crap, I think we found the guy. Oh, that went much better with these new things. Nice. Yeah, these new powers help quite a bit. I didn't even use my uh, rune bombs. Oh, we got a second stew. Double the stew, double the fun, right? We still need one more to make a, a full stew rune. Relic, stew relic. Nothing useful. Not having great luck finding items right now. So I guess the Vengeful Ghost was somehow resurrecting all these miners. I mean, there are a lot of miners down here. I mean, I feel like it's more than live in the town that I've killed down here, so... Wouldn't you have stopped working the mine long before this? Like, seriously.
Or where's that ladder at? Over here somewhere, right? Yeah. Let's try out this ladder. Our work has always been hard and dangerous. What? Safe? A ghost? Are you sure? Well, you did. Alright, so... That should do it for the mine. <laughs> Probably gonna have to head back to town to turn that one in. So let's get to here and then we'll teleport from here. Back to Schunderberg. Let's see what we got. He was uh, the mayor, I think. No, it was this guy. That, that ring? No, this wasn't. Yes, I recognize it. It is my husband's. In the mine. But how? By the horned snake. That greedy murderer. When my husband left his, his so-called friend and business partner, Gork, and told me he was... Wow, this is a violent area up here. But he never left, did he? They must have killed him and hidden his body in the mine so Gorkin could have it all for himself. That's why Brovdos came back to haunt it. Give it to me, stranger. I must take this thing. Alright, have fun. Yes, foreigner. I am a bard. A poet. Alright, the mine guy was... Actually, that, is that the mine quest? What was somebody else that gave it to us? Let's look. I didn't get any experience or anything for that. Wonder why. Thank you, stranger. But I cannot bring my husband back to life. I can at least be sure. Oh. I talked to her again. Welcome, warrior. I am Borderix, High Chieftain of the Vindalici. Alright, so did that finish the quest then? Yes, that finished. Okay. Good. All right, what do we get? We got this weapon. Ooh, eighty-seven, one hundred and one. That's a lot of damage. But ah. slow, so no, thank you. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that one either. Or those two. So I think we got some weapons to get rid of, and we got some relics and monster parts to drop off. So let's drop it all off, and then continue on the adventure. Delivery all across the Celtic lands. So long. Have a look at these scrolls. He says I have a talent for making them. A pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Now let's get back to here and continue onward. Oh, these are all enemies. Right. 
You are dead. Ah, Lemberg. Oh. So we're nearing Lemberg, apparently. Not quite there yet. Holy crap. Ah, hit the wrong button. Well, that was a close call. Okay, that just seems weird that we find Mountaineer's Merfolk armor over here. What was that? Oh, I know. The rune thing exploded. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> All right. This or Grim Dawn? Um, they're both good games. Zemond 12. Thanks for chatting. Um, it's really a personal preference, I would say. This one, I played longer than Grim Dawn because it was around like around Diablo two to three times. It's been around longer than Grim Dawn, so I just played a lot more of Titan Quest. And I really like how the, the skill trees are in this game. So I haven't played enough of Grim, Grim Dawn to say I like that one better or worse. But I don't know how much you know about the game. Basically, you have rune masteries in this one. And you can have two different ones if you want or concentrate all onto one. There's like 13, 12, 11, I don't know, 10, 10 or so masteries you can get. And you combine them and make all different types of character classes. So there's just lots of different customizations you can do, which I really like in the game. So you can play it twice back to back and have completely different character experiences. So I just really like how that works with the trees. Grim Dawn is fun too, though. I mean, I have played some of it, but I haven't gotten nearly as far as it, as it in this game. So uh, personal preference, Grim Dawn is newer, so I would say it looks probably better. You know, this definitely looks older and has an older feel to it, more like a Diablo 2 style feel, where I think Grim Dawn's effects and everything are a little bit newer and updated. So, again, I'd say personal preference. For me, I like this one better. But uh, if I play Grim Dawn more, if I had the same amount of experience, uh, I might have a different outcome. Oh, I finally got some arcane formulas. A new one, Carnix. But yeah, there are a couple good ones that have come out recently, along with Grim Dawn. I mean, you have the, the Adventures of Van Helsing series that came out. You have... Uh, uh, Wolson, Lords of Mayhem. I like that one. That one seemed pretty interesting. The storyline was interesting on Wolson. Uh, then you had... What else did you have? Victor Vran. Um, probably a couple other ones I'm forgetting about. But no, they've, they've had some decent action RPGs out recently that aren't, you know, just Diablo. Since Diablo's been the king of them for so long. But thanks for chatting. Come on, bear. 
Go down, brown bear. There we go. You're pretty tough. Yeah, they're the nice thing with this game, with Titan Quest, if you haven't played it before. The initial game of just Titan Quest had three main chapters. Uh, then they added the Immortal Throne, which added Chapter 4. And then actually in the last couple of years, they've added two new ones. So that they made this game first, I want to say like 10 years ago. I might have the dates wrong, sorry if I do. But it's been out for a long time. Then the other expansions came out in the last two years. They had Ragnarok, which is this one, which adds a Chapter five to the game and then they added an Atlantis one was the last one that came out I think like a year ago and that was uh, chapter six so the nice thing with this game is there's lots of content and lots of hours of gameplay so you can definitely find a lot of content in this one which is good I know since like Grim Dawn and some of the other ones are newer they don't have as much content I feel like I'm not saying they're worse they're just different you know Ooh, come here, you. Don't push in. What did that thing do? So we picked up an arcane formula for a Carnix recipe. We need Blood Rage artifact. We need... Essence of Epona's horses. I don't have that. Epona? Isn't that the name of the horse from Zelda? Weird. Then we have Scroll of Primal Chaos. That gives us some skill disruption, some fear, sleep resistance, shield block chance, Warhorn, and Flush Out. And Rally. I don't know what the hell those are. Huh. Weird. Those might not be skills for me. Those might be a skill for another class, so probably nothing I'm going to be able to use with my Rune Master here. Lightning! Don't lightning me. Get you back. Eagles? Huh. I don't remember fighting eagles before. Fight a bunch of crows and other weird birds, but not eagles. That's new. Though they look fairly similar. Similar. Those wolves? Those look like wolves. So we got some more trolls up here to fight. They're pretty weak fodder, so they're not too bad. Except for the big rock throwing trolls, those are annoying. Oh crap. I take it back, they're wrecking me. I think it was just because there were a lot of them in that group. And I think I turned off something. I did. Turned off that. I need to activate that. Okay, there we go. Everything's back now. It's fixed. I turned off one of my Oh, what's this guy? Force creeper. I turned off one of my uh passive bonuses. Oh, he's kinda cool looking. Hungry like the wolf. Who's trying to eat my face? One you. Ugh. Oh. Ears itching. Alright. More boars!
Let me find a little campsite? What the hell? Yeah, this is a random shop person out here. He was helping me sort the mushrooms. Oh, sort the mushrooms. It's so nice of him. I didn't hear you come in. Well, that's weird. You probably One weapon? came for some hunting supplies, correct? I have some here. I think someone's looking for some humping supplies. He is with her. Ooh, that's a very fast pike, really? Ooh. Kinda like that one. I mean definitely not as many bonuses like the saber do that, right? Because that's like a unique one, but this one would essentially double damage, more pierce ratio, same speed, almost the same life leech. I still get some fire damage on vitality damage. I don't get any of the bonus fire stuff though, which is sad. Like I wish I could take that one off the essence I have now. I don't know, that one I like, but... It's definitely a lot of money, too. It's almost a million gold. Although I do have 5.6, but still. It's a lot of money to give her up for something I'm not sure if I like because of missing all that extra fire and burn damage and stuff on it. Because, I mean, that Sabretooth right now, even if I don't kill somebody and they run off, I'm this constantly guy. doing damage to them. Bye. Which is great. Hi. I also have some is, berries left. Is there something else? See, I knew she was stepping out on her husband. Just saying. You knew that was coming. So I wonder if that finishes the quest then. Let's go check. We'll head back real quick to Hunenberg. Talk to the guy who is Upset that his wife wasn't around to make him dinner. Even though he should just be foraging for himself. And I'm going to need to do that soon. Because I'm starting to get hungry too. It's almost lunch time. Actually, it's kind of lunch time for us. She was at the hunter's shack? Sorting mushrooms? Oh yeah. Sorting mushrooms. That's a I can't believe it. I love mushrooms. And here I was thinking she was in one of her moods again. Oh, <laughs> he is so clueless. Wow. Why did I get anything? <laughs> Mushrooms. That didn't finish. Why didn't they finish the quest? Does it make sense? Or did it? Oh, I guess talking to her finished the quest. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. All right, let us teleport back to the Mushroom Shack. So she can get on with her humping, I mean, mushroom hunting. Oh, she's gone. That's funny. You again? Yeah, me again. What's it to you? You know, I just realized that pike might have been a throwing pike. It may not have been, I don't know. I think it's still stabbing Pike. But it's gone now. Oh, a bow that's actually 2 million gold. Wow, that's a, a lot. More than I expected it to be. Oof. Ugh, at some point I'm going to have to give up that armor. I just hate to, getting all those bonuses is awesome. Keep that one for now. You're going further into the forest, right? Yes, then your lady can come back and you can get back to humping. Alright, so let's go this way now. What is that the end? Yeah, it looks like that was the end. So let's go up this way. Follow the river and the path. This the way. Charge! 
Let's see what's over here. Boars! Always with all the boars. What is that? Tralmago. Oh, that was the shopkeeper. Okay, the hunter. I was going to say, what is Tralmago? Had me confused. Oh, what is that? A Sprigling. Huh. Viney growth. Hey, these monsters, some of these new monsters look nice. I like them. Oh, that hurts. What the hell? Stupid poisoning ass. There's a rebirth found. Let's look at that. Looks like I might have missed the cavern this way, up the other river, maybe? Let's go check it out. We have water spirits too. Here's the cave. Water spirit cave? No, wolf cave. A lupine claw. Okay, I think that's everything in this cave. Not much here. Just a small little cave of wolves. More boars. Such a bore. Stacked rocks. Now, who would stack up rocks back here? I mean, do you really think the boars did it? I don't. Well, I guess if they got their tusks under something, maybe. You know, it's probably the trolls here. Oh, they're going to kill me. Yeah, they killed me. Crap! Too many enemies! Let me buff up real quick. I didn't get to my rocks in time. I was trying to hit stuff and trying to potion up, and then I was like, yeah, it's no use, I'm dead. It's alright, that's alright, we'll get our health, or our health, our experience back. We did kill a lot of them, I feel like. We're actually doing pretty well with levels, too. We're already, uh, about two-thirds of the way up, it looks like. Leveling here feels much faster than it was in the previous area. Dang. Still think I'm low on armor. That's the only reason why I'm still thinking about switching out some of that Babylonian stuff. I mean, it, it is 
It's still nice for the bonuses I'm getting, but if I keep dying, what's the use in having it, you know? That's actually why I'm stacking kind of life leech right now. In theory, I'm kind of keeping it all even. You know, I'm dishing out damage and... Getting some back, at least. Well, those were kind of useless there. That's okay. At least we have another rebirth fountain. Man, I've been important to go back down that way. Oh well. Wasting this shrine of experience, apparently. Stupid me. At least I managed to get some restock of health potions up. I haven't been using as many as I was before, so that's a good sign. I wonder if that's because I put on that new helmet that gave me an extra, like, 60 armor. Could be. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna have a look at that. Those were uniques, I think. They have a slightly different green tinge to them. Huh. It's weird. They don't seem all that good, honestly. I mean, they have more armor, I guess. Well, at least strength. Offense ability, movement speed, health regen. They do reduce damage from plants. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Darn, I was hoping it was going to be something cool. Oh well. Come on, kill them all! I just got a troll sticker. Another unique. Oh, and a troll's branch now, too. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's see what those are. Troll's branch is very slow. 134 bleeding damage over 3 seconds. 58 piercing damage. 93 energy... Is it a... I can't even use it. I think this is a wand, like a staff. I mean, it looks like a staff. So it must fire uh, bleeding damage, which is interesting. I don't know how effective that would be, because it's almost like a poison. So you'd have to like, hit and run, I guess. What's this one do? 105 to 119 is nice, but it's very slow. Does bleeding damage, piercing damage, and I'm getting a bunch of damage to plant stuff. Or resistance from plants. Yeah, I don't know what all that is. Interesting. Let's see what it would be if I swap, just to see. Oh, shit, I can't even use it. Why is that? It needs 246 decks if I take this off. Yeah, I lose 16 decks. That at least will tell me now. There we go. 601 damage. 88%, 86% attack speed. 518 DPS. Yeah, see, this one still gives me more DPS. K. 
curious though. That's yeah, still less DPS. Yeah, so far this <laughs> the saber tooth is still the best weapon I have, which is still silly. Straight up in DPS is still the best, so. Whatever works. Damn. Found more armor. It's all resistance to plant stuff. Pretty sure it is, at least. Bone breaker, man. Yeah, less damage from plants. So weird. Oh, we found a boar. Oh, we found another campsite. Let's see what this place is. What do I have available? I got everything up. That's good. Troll camps. Okay. Let's go range for a little bit. Oh, dang. Run! Those crushers are nasty. I didn't realize they stunned you when they hit you with their stupid boulders. Yeah, we can take these guys now. What is going on with finding all this troll stuff? All of a sudden, like, Troll City. We're getting all these troll items. We just got two other new ones. We got a... Oop, getting attacked on it. I'm getting ready to get attacked. Because now we just got a troll splitter. Would you leave me alone for one second? There it is, the Troll Basher. Yeah, all of it is more damage against plants. So weird. Like, do we have a plant boss coming up or something? You know what, if we did, that might be a nice time to put on some of that equipment. Oh, shit. Well, that was annoying. I don't think I've ever seen a majestic chest been trapped. It's weird. Gotta look out for that in the future. I think I did everything over there. Unless the path goes up more. The only thing I don't know is if it goes up more. Let's go check real quick. Oh, no. path goes up more. While we're here, might as well keep going. Wanderer, what are you doing here so far? Artibus. Inside this dangerous forest? 
I am Artibuds. Artibuds. Of the Hulabird <laughs> Circles. Artibuds. I know the forest well, and I'm a friend to many of its creatures. Except for the trolls, that is. They can be nasty pieces of work. It's generally not too hard to avoid them or scare them off, but yesterday, when I was cutting mistletoe, the largest troll I have ever seen suddenly of course. sniffing under my tree. When he reached for me, I struck his hand with my sickle, but he barely felt it. Fortunately, he seems to like golden items because after wrenching it from my fingers, he was so captivated by the blade that he completely... So I need to find a golden eye. sickle for this guy. Well, good thing I came up this way. At least now we know there's a quest person up there. Now we gotta find a big troll that has a golden sickle. He is probably the boss of this area and will probably do lots of damage. I don't think he's considered a plant, though. So my hope of having a big monster that's going to be a plant that I have to kill might be dashed. So far, more regular trolls. Okay, we've got eight points left to use. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for, so I think I'll just save them for now. We're actually running out of inventory, which I'm surprised about. Gonna have to go stash or sell these or something. I don't know what to do with them yet. I was expecting to find all these weird troll items around here. These guys also got a cave coming up. Okay. Well, this is going to be the lair of the super troll. Huh. <laughs> wow. Did that moose just use its back leg to scratch its head, I think? Well, that was interesting looking. He's like, eh! Reach the head, scratch it! Oh, it is. This is the cave of the Troll King. What the hell is with all these grubs in, or grip worms in here? Those really remind me of the Diablo 2 worms from uh, Act 2. Yeah, those like worm hills you would go inside and fight in. Those worms really remind me of those. Oh wait, what's this? You have no more oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I got room. Throwing axe of fire. It's 
It's actually not as good as what I got, so whatever. Oh crap, you shoot stuff. Let's go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Holy crap, I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that guy. Holy shit. Damn. That's some crazy stuff. Oh shit. Shit. Yeah, he just went right through those things. Crap. Move it. Move it. No! No! Stay with boss! Okay, it's tough! Ah, oh, crap. Move it, move it. Damn, he keeps giving me that poison stuff. I'm moving a little bit too slow.
Aha! Those things came in handy after all. Nice. There's the golden sickle. I better back up just in case it's a bomb. Whew! He was definitely a challenge. Well, what the hell? Where'd you come from? Oh, oh, not that way. This way. All right, so let's go return the giant or the giant golden sickle to the guy. That's not the right way, and uh, get a reward that may level us. I don't know. Hundred fifty? No, it won't. We still need one hundred fifteen thousand. To level to 41. But that's okay. So you have found my golden sickle in the cave of that troll? Yeah. And killed it? By Tutatus, you must be a formidable warrior. By Tutatus? see how I can reward you. You can't hold anymore. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, I can hold it. All right, we are pretty full, but I guess let's keep trucking forward and see what the next area holds. Would be nice to get to like a city or a place, then we'll probably end for today. We have been going about two and a half hours so far, so, oops, I actually had the, uh, hit the wrong button for my loot. I was seeing all the yellows, which I don't want to see. You know, I completely missed the Shrine of Mastery, I think. Or I used it in a respawn, I don't know. Some troll tusks. Aw, oh, some cave bats. You know, I really find them as difficult as they used to be. You might be having some network slownesses too. I'll be watching out for that. If so, we may end a little bit early. Because we're getting some slowness right now for some reason. Right, looks like we're better now. You can't hold any more. All right, what is this tunic? Ooh. All right, see, so this one's kind of nice. It's an interesting armor. I will have to seriously think about that one. I think I'm going to end up putting it on and replacing the Babylonian one. Wish I get the next city though. Oof. 
Fight, fight, fight! Oh, what is a wood colossus? Well, that guy looks awesome. It's like a War of the Worlds up in here. Ah, we dropped again. Yeah, it looks like we're having some slow network problems. Might have to end this sooner than I was trying to. I'm trying to get to the next town, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Too many people online on this Sunday morning doing stuff. Alright, next rebirth fountain will stop. Oh, I see one coming up. And I think we're going the wrong way. It's up there. I don't get over there. I guess this way? Alright, here we go. This is the place. Alright, let's find that rebirth fountain, then we'll stop here. Since we're getting some some internet internet interruptions. Alright, so we will stop today at the Rhine Valley. No idea where that is in this area yet. But did not get to the top of the mountain I was trying to get to, so that's okay. We will end here for today. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks Zemon12 for chatting about whether this was as good as Grim Dawn or this one. But again, I'd say still personal preference, depending on which one you like better. This one is older, so if its age interrupts you at all, then you know look at Grim Dawn since it is newer and probably has better graphical enhancements. But other than that, I like this one, like I said, because skill trees are a lot of fun and building two different trees and maxing stuff out. Definitely is very interesting the way they did it. But thanks everyone for watching. This is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, and we might see you a little bit later today if we end up getting to another stream. Have a wonderful rest of your day.